Today on The Speakeasy, we're gonna talk about the number one selling spirit in America, vodka. We're gonna figure out which one my untrained palate likes the most in a blind taste test. And we have everything from Belvedere to Kamchatka, Kettle One, to the number one selling brand of the number one selling spirit, Tito's. We're gonna figure out which one I like best and Hopefully we can find something that's a little more cost effective than, you know, your more expensive vodka. Now this is a pretty interesting spirit, uh, created somewhere in the eighth, seventh to eighth century. Uh, Poland and Russia both got it around the same time, so no one really knows who did it first. Poland had woda, which they used to pass information back and forth during wars, and Russia had voda which was kind of mainly given, given to the soldiers to keep them warm. Originally, though, it was used as medicine to cure diseases, viruses, and even cancer. So it's weird how a cancer-curing beverage turned into something we drink on a Saturday night to get a little bit tipsy. Let's get to the blind taste test. I have a palate cleanser here of just pure ice water. We're gonna see if my untrained palate can taste the difference between grain vodka, potato vodka, and if there is a fruit vodka in here. I didn't use any flavored ones. I just, uh, I've used the ones I have accumulated in my time. So we're gonna see this, I, again, I don't have the palate for vodka. This could all taste the same to me, but I have a feeling it won't. So we're gonna do it like we normally do it. Best on this side worst on this side and we're just gonna go not a super heavy acetone nose doesn't have much of a flavor to it I mean it's vodka but this this it's muted everything about it is very muted so we're gonna put that one right in the center That'll be our baseline. This one has a little more of an acetone on the nose. A little bit of a harsher burn. Slightly better taste. So that one will go up one. Ooh, wow. That one kind of smells like wet dog. Oh, that one's very burning. That one's rough. Go down there. Let's grab from this side. A little more kind of I don't want to say alcohol smell, but it has that nail polish remover e acetone with a dash of purple smell to it. Oh, that one's pretty rough. We'll go down there. I'll bet you the first two were potato vodkas and the second two were green. If I had to guess. No. Let me take a sip of water. I should probably be doing water. A sip of water after each one, honestly. It's inoffensive. It has no nose that I can really tell, so this one will go right in the middle. Oh, whoo! Whoo! That one just invaded my sinuses immediately. That goes right to the end. Whoo ha! Whoo! Language only helps me to 
this is a little bit of an evolving one. Like on right on the front of the tongue, it, it, you don't get a taste or a burn till it hits about here. Okay. Mm. That one burns a little bit quicker. Um, feels like needles on my tongue. Not like bad, but like, you know, when your arm falls asleep and you're catching it right before it falls asleep? Like that tingliness? That's how my tongue feels. All right, number three. Oh. <coughs> yeah, it's bad. Uh, yep, yeah, that's that's no good. Oh, that tastes like dirty dish sink smells. That one's pretty bad. And then final one, number four. Oh, the nose on this is like Fritos. Oh, that is awful. Okay. Let's move these all down a little bit and see how they fared. All right, give me number. Want to guess what you think the best and the worst was? Number nine. Tito's. Number nine. Is... The Wheatley. All right. Hmm. Interesting. I'm gonna guess Tito's on each one, so just hand it to me. <laughs> What's this one? Number five. Is the Belvedere. Okay, that makes sense. So we have the Buffalo Trace and the Belvedere, the two high-end ones. I think the two most expensive ones coming in at the top two spots. That's not, not too surprising. What's the next number? Uh, that would be number 10. Okay, okay, yep. Do you see this is kind of following a pattern? Like the three most expensive ones coming in the top three. I'm gonna need number seven. Oh, excuse me, jeez. This Fedka. Yeah, that makes sense. Swedish, okay. Uh, number eight. Ah, I was wondering when this one would show up. This is a local brand. They distill this a couple of cities over in Lakewood. It's one of the best restaurants I've ever been to as well. Highly recommend. Uh, number Z. Number Z. Okay. It's a Z. Ah, the Russian Standard, my go-to mixing. Okay, these were all pretty good. Down the line, these were all pretty good. Now we're starting to get into the iffy ones. Give me number number six. <laughs> oh wow, poor Tito's. <laughs> Sorry, Tito's, you you didn't you didn't make the cut. Uh, give me number one. Yeah, I kind of figured. New Amsterdam. Number four. Really? Oh, what lost to Kamchatka? Stoli? Stoli lost to Kamchatka? Are you okay? Hold on, I gotta, I gotta do this again. I gotta taste these two again because I, I cannot believe that. All right, the camera totally didn't die in the middle of shooting that. I, I don't believe Kamchatka is better than Stoli, so let me give it a one to one more go. The nose on this, definitely worse. So the nose on the Kamchatka is definitely worse than the Stoli. Neither are great, but that's awful. That's pretty bad too. But the more I'm drinking the Stoli, the more I don't hate it. Try this one again. 
Okay, rearranging. Stoli gets bumped up to third last. And Kamchatka, unsurprisingly, taking the dead last place. But the Kamchatka is truly awful. It smells like Fritos, tastes like wet dog. But these were all fantastic. This is questionable, this is bad. You, you can't really go wrong with the vodka. Let's get these two. But yeah, okay, I, this is my definitive list. Sure, I didn't do the Grey Goose and the Three Olives and those kind, but this is just what I had to hand. I have flavored vodkas and that's not what we were doing here today. So I just had Miss Sin try the first couple ones and she pretty much agrees with what my answer was. And she said the Wheatley has no flavor, the Svedka and the Kettle One have a little bit, and I don't think she tried the Belvedere. But that, I was just thinking, that's kind of the point of vodka. It, I don't think anybody really drinks vodka straight. But, I mean, it's fine if you do. That's the whole point of drinking and doing this stuff is to drink what you enjoy. But I think that's why Wheatley won to me is because it had the least flavor to it. The way I look at vodka, and I think most other people do, is that it is nothing more than an alcohol additive to a cocktail. So let me know what you think down below. And now I'll redo the outro. <laughs> so if you want to see more like this, I plan to do a gin one of these where we kind of take a look at uh, different gins and uh, some other stuff coming ahead. Uh, we are getting very close to 1,000 subscribers, and then we are going to do our first live stream. We'll take drink requests and make stuff live and hang out and talk and bullshit and whatever, so that'll be fun. So guys, if you liked this video, if it made you think, if you picked up a vodka, I've seen a lot of people say, oh, I went out and bought this because you recommended it. I went out and got this because you said it was good. Buffalo Trace, you should sponsor me. If you guys like this video, please like and share. Do all that stuff YouTube enjoys. Maybe one day we'll do a, a vodka cocktail video. If you guys would like that, let me know. Uh, and I will see you all in the next one.